back to the Roadside Rescue YouTube channel. I'm Ernest and I'm going to install an air horn on my big truck on this episode. I'm waiting on a few parts to come in. As you can see, uh, it snowed recently. There's some snow on the ground. Uh, so it's kind of cold outside, but I just want something to do. So there's a few different options of air horns. Uh, actually, Vever is this company that I like. That being said, this episode is sponsored by Vever. They offer a few different air horns for different models, but I went ahead. We chose the biggest and loudest uh, air horn here. This one's actually electric and air powered. So basically a train horn as loud as it gets. And uh, you know, I've got a big truck, so I think I need a big horn for it. That's what we've got. I'm gonna install it. So uh, come along, see the process, and hopefully I can uh, let this thing loose once without uh, getting in trouble from all the neighbors. So we'll see. So this kit comes with everything you need, including the hose. Uh, this air compressor here, again, has everything you need. So all you need to do is plug it in. It's got its little compressor, it's self-regulated. Super nice kit, should be easy to mount. I've got self-tapping screws. So this will be nice because uh, having something like this would be good uh, to use dual purpose for like an air ride system. And I'm not sure if I wanna put airbags on any of my trucks or anything, but if I do, I could uh, use this dual purpose to fill up those airbags if I need more suspension at some point. So. Uh, cool, cool tool to have. I'm gonna go ahead and install it and check out the link if you want one. And here's how it, here's how it goes. All right. So when I look at this, I see prime real estate right here over this tire. I think right here's the spot. Should be nice and easy to mount it on this flush spot right there. That's gonna be pointed straight out at the front there. So like that, and it shouldn't. It shouldn't be in the way of that tire turning at all. So I think that'll be what we do. I spent the next 10 minutes trying to figure out where to put this air tank. All right, so I think the best place for this compressor is inside. And so here's what I've decided, putting this air tank right here. All right, so I'm gonna put the air tank right here. I've got that in place. It should be out of the way of the tire. When it turns over here like this, plenty of clearance and the horn should go above it right here. That'll be it. I'm gonna mark those other three holes and drill those out. These self-tapping screws are nice. Okay, so I've got this bracket put on. I'm gonna install the horn to that. Okay, there's that horn. It's out of the way of that tire. Even whenever it's loaded under the suspension, it shouldn't hit that horn. And it's facing forward out past where I'm gonna be at, so it won't be as loud for me. All right, so here's what I'm looking at. I gotta trim this, but again, I'm removing all this rubber in the next couple of days. I just put that fitting on there. There's the tank there, all in one spot, that's nice. I just got that air hose on. I am shortened, so all I have to do is hook power up to the compressor and then just hook a signal wire up to the actual horn here. Again, it's electric and air powered, so that's gonna be fun. Let's get some power to these. Okay, so now I've got just a pair of pinchers here and a couple of spade connectors that I'm gonna try and get on these. All right, <clears throat> tight space.
All right, so that solder melts in there. You can see it on the bottom and gets into those wires. That's nice and connected and weatherproof there. All right, red's connected. Now let's see the black wire. All right, and that black wire's on there as well. All right, I've got two bare wires here and I've got some batteries that have plenty of juice in them. So let's just hear that turn on. All right, so that's actually pretty quiet if you can hear. It's not very loud at all. And that'll crank up and turn off by itself. So let's wait till that happens. All right, that took like one minute. That was really fast. Let's see how much PSI it has. Oh, perfect. Right at 120, it shuts off. All right, these two wires are gonna work great as the signal wire. All right, on this horn, um, this actual horn wire itself, again, electric and air horn, I'm sure this signal will open a valve and set off the electric horn. Um, they have these connectors that you can just swap them out with your OE um, socket, but I'm just going to put these paid connectors on this instead. All right, easy peasy. I got those swapped over. <laughs> Me too. I'm scared. Oh, I'm not scared. I'm just nervous. All right, here we go. Let's see what that horn sounds like. Here. Oh no, it's Mac, sorry. Just clear Mac, go inside and close the door. Save yourself. It's gonna be loud. Go. All right, I'm just gonna touch this, the battery real quick. And we'll see what it sounds like. Oh. Yeah, that was sounding just like a train. Yeah. All right, that was super loud. That works and uh, one and done. Let's leave that alone. All right, that's a job well done. That took about an hour and a half to put together. Uh, but I wanted to just kind of get everything put together the way I liked it. Even though spade connectors aren't my favorite, uh, that'll be nice and easy to just move that around if I need to. Or anything. I don't care about that. So thanks for watching. If you like the video, subscribe and like the video. And I'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. That's a job well done.